welcome to the seventh episode of lalita divya rahasya sahasranama stotra the thousand energy forms of almighty universal mother transcended into thousand different ways thousand different energy forms to train human faculties towards saturation towards union towards harmony with with the forces within the body and uh, to make them operate in the witness mode this is a training that is given to the faculties so it starts with sri mata sri maharagni sri mat simhasaneswari where the nourishment and the training given in the form of unconditionality sri mata is unconditional the nourishment is unconditional the training given to faculty of intellect is unconditional followed by sri maharagni little bit of uh, conditionality associated there because faculty of discretion is um, getting trained and shrimad simhasaneswari further more further some more um, conditionality added so in the process the unconditionality is fully explored and covered see in the shrimata shri maharagni shrimad simhasaneswari and based on the individual's choices the the nourishment is provided and uh, in chidagni kunda sambhuta the faculties were reset because it the saturation happens once uh, um, the people are transformed uh, transformed into line um, qualities so the faculties were reset why were they reset the karma charana or action is the only purpose of assuming the body for the soul so if the souls are if the faculties are saturated there is no point having the body either you depart the body or or continue the karma charana so new qualities are required by resetting the of faculties so that is done in chidagni kunda sambhuta deva karya samudyata and uh, the concept of dharma or the balancing of the forces through action items were introduced in ujjat bhanu sahasra va chatur bahu samanvita so again uh the faculties were uh, identified in uh, chaturbahu samanvita divided into four the division is made into four based on the choices of individuals who wants to give more weightage to particular pa- faculty in the in the in the training that is you know going to happen ragaswarupa pasaadya krodakarank sojala again in the conditionality conditional training there is some kind of a saturation that happens through this shloka ragaswarupa pasaadya krodakarank sojala that means excessive attachment is raga the blood relations excessive blood relations beyond the saturation that is raga and associated with that is dvesha or ego, um, or uh, envy envying so these two are dangerous if it is beyond the limit and they need to be um, controlled through vasikarna vidya both pasam and ankusam both are vasikarna uh, tools pasam is for uh, uh, vasikarna of uh, faculty of discretion 
uh, for, sorry, faculty of uh, intellect, Ankusam is for faculty of discretion. So it is very, it's clear that uh, the Lalta Divya Rahasya Sahasra Nama Stotra um, provides training to the faculties in various aspects in training in towards conditionality, training, training towards unconditionality, training in, uh, in um, uh, maintaining the, the balance of uh, dharma and adharma, etc., etc. So it's a, it, is a, it is a very powerful tool uh, that uh, uh, gives us opportunity to explore the the limitations of our faculties. So let us move on. The next sloka is Manoru Peksha Kodanda Panchatan Matra Sayaka. This is divided into two parts. Manoru Peksha Kodanda Manoru Peksha Kodanda Panchatan Matra Sayaka. Two uh, Namas. So Kodanda is uh, we already been covered in uh, Chaturbahu Samanvita. So Kodanda means uh, simply means without getting into the inner details of uh, letters. Kodanda simply refers to uh, the bow, the, the individual that uh, uses the bow like a toy. That means he has uh, 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 so much. Uh, capability to make use of the bow um, in the form of a toy. So you can play with just as if a, a, a ch child is playing with a toy, he can use make use of the bow like a toy. So that's what Kodanda means. Um, so let us uh, see some, uh, let us see one example. So Rama is always associated with Kodanda, that's why he has a, na a name, um, Kodanda Rama. So it seems Rama is always, um, he, he is inseparable from Kodanda, that's what Kodanda Rama means. Even while sleeping it seems he is having Kodanda next to him. Um, so how is this possible? that? Uh, as a human being, even while sleeping, you are having your kodanda or the bow um, uh, next to you. So, how is it possible? So, although many pictures pic uh, depicting Rama having this bow as an external tool, but kodanda actually is an internal uh, tool. So, that's why it is inseparable from uh, Rama. So by misinterpreting this, we have actually captured it as an external tool. Um, so, um, so the in the case of Rama, the kodanda is his spine. His spine is kodanda. His spine is uh, he can he has so much control on his spine. He can bend his spine and make it light, and through the energy of kundalini across so he can he can release the uh, he can release the bow um, so that's that's why it is inseparable from him and uh, in that state his mind oscillation of his mind becomes uh, uh, part of the kodanda um, so he has used this, uh, why, why Rama is having um, Kodanda all the time, because he uses this Kodanda to control the enemies and to protect the, those who seek his, uh, his intervention or his blessings or his, uh, um, those who or dear to him. In order to protect them, he can control the enemies. He himself doesn't have any enemies because he is desireless. So it is based on the the people who are 
uh, seeking surrendering to rama that uh, he on their cause he he uh, tries to um, control the enemies using the kodanda and the universal mother herself is having the kodanda as one of the tool as discussed in chaturbahu samanvita so it is very possible that uh, um, rama has acquired this skill through universal mother that is lalita okay um so in this case manorupeksha so when um, the kodanda itself is is assumed the form of mind oscillating mind because mind the faculties were reset in uh, uh, in chidagni kunda sambhuta deva karya samudyata and subsequently the uh, the introduction of uh, the the chatur varna maya maya srushta gunakarna gunakarna vibhaga se uh, the the division based on the faculties and that has reached reach the limitation through raga swarupa pasarja krodha karanku sojala um um so the the process of limitation is through um process of reaching the saturation is through manorupeksha kodanda panja tanmatra sahayaka so this nama manorupeksha kodanda uh, clearly shows the accelerated process of karma acharana reaction when the when the mind is oscillating like uh, uh, like a, like kodanda um bow so which, which is used like a toy that means it shows accelerated process of karma acharana reaction okay so uh, when this mind is become kodanda so we have discussed the remaining faculties uh, prior to this um that is uh, discretion um becoming ankusham then intellect becoming pasam or vasikarna um the faculty of ego or personality becoming sugar cane so these are various uh, mappings of uh, the faculties so this mapping does it happen to everybody no it doesn't happen to everybody it happens to those who have uh, gone through this training of sri mata sri maharagni where the uh, the unconditionality is uh, uh, saturated they, they get saturated in the taste of unconditionality and the faculties are reset in the chidagni kunda sambhoda uh, so the the contents are being emptied and uh, so subsequently sus- subsequent to that after that it's uh, it's like a rebirth so 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 the 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 infant um faculties are all are em- empty so it's like that the rebirth so in that state um in that state uh, uh, everybody uh, will treat the person like a like in fact so prior to prior to that prior to the emptying of the the faculties the mind was oscillating too much into the um past and the future now um after the after the resetting the mind uh, stays in the current and a small perturbation in the current so that becomes the kodanda so uh, so if if it is uh, if the person reaches that state then um, through the action of kodanda he or she can do anything so that is manorupeksha kodanda pancha pancha tanmatra sahayaka pancha tanmatra sahayaka means using the body as a as a tool um 
the five uh, arrows are uh, are are being released through the kodanda pancha tanmatra sahayaka five arrows when the ko- when the mind is kodanda what are what could be the five arrows that comes out of this uh, kodanda the bow the five arrows are the five senses so it's clearly manorupeksha kodanda panchatan matra sahayaka refers to an accelerated form of karma acharana or action after going through this training of sri mata sri mahana agni to ragaswarupa pasaja krodakarank sojvala that means uh, a cycle of unconditionality conditionality you know uh, again little bit of unconditionality is covered so this is like um a contraction re refraction contraction so it's is a the faculties are set to so much of training in this uh, process so they get uh, they get completely satisfied in the end and there is a unison that happens during this uh, uh, process the soul is happy and content in the process so the manorupeksha kodanda panjatan matra sahayaka clearly refers to um the karma acharana aspect so manorupeksha kodanda in first time in uh, in this uh, sequence the faculty of mind is given the training through manorupeksha kodanda then panjatan matra sahayaka Um, it is actually the training given to the senses um but uh, if we limit our our analysis our uh, our subject to only faculties then panchatan matra sahayaka refers to the training given to um faculty of personality or ego okay so the next nama is nijaruna prabha pura majjad brahmanda mandala so this is kind of a difficult uh, uh, nama this only one uh, one shloka and one nama nijaruna prabha pura majjad brahmanda mandala so what it means is uh, um it is like immersing oneself in the brightness of the rising sun the the radiation associated with the rising sun and then um immersing and then the is popping out and popping in popping out and popping in in this immersion in this sea of uh, brightness of the rising sun sun that's what is nijaruna prabhapura majjad brahmanda mandala so it's uh, this kind of a difficult uh, um, sloka or nama to interpret but if uh, effort is made right effort is made one can understand this sloka so we can take the help of balakrishna to understand this sloka um so balakrishna um so the esoda the Uh, the balakrishna's uh, uh, adopted uh, mother um, when she gets vexed up with his uh, 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 with his acts then uh, she asked in on one occasion she asked balakrishna to open the mouth then అమ్మా మన్ను తిన్నంగ శిశువునో యా కొంటినో వెర్రినో చూడు నోరు హీ సేస్ అండ్ దెన్ యశోద వాట్ ఆస్ యశోద సి బాపురే పుద పదు నాలుగు భువన భాండం బొలు ఆ రూపము గని న యశోద జన్మ ధన్యమవగా she sees the 14 uh 
14 universes uh, within balakrishna so these are 14 uh, are divided into seven that are upwardly direction and seven that are downwardly direction so the seven upwardly direction universes are ಭೂಲೋಕ ಭೂವರ್ಲೋಕ ಸ್ವರ್ಗಲೋಕ ಮಹರ್ಲೋಕ ಜನರ್ಲೋಕ ತಪರ್ಲೋಕ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಸಚ್ಚಲೋಕ ದ ಡೌನ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಆರ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಅಪ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ರಿಫರಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಪಾಸಿಟಿವ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಡೌನ್ವರ್ಡ್ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಈಸ್ ರಿಫರಿಂಗ್ ಟು ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ದ ನೆಗೆಟಿವ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಸ್ ಆರ್ ಅತಲ ವಿತಲ ಸುತಲ ರಸಾತಲ ತಲಾತಲ ಮಹಾತಲ ಅಂಡ್ ಪಾತಾಲ ಸೊ ದ ಮಿಡಿಲ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಫೋರ್ಟೀನ್ ಇಸ್ ಎರ್ತ್ ದ ಪ್ಲಾನೆಟ್ ಎರ್ತ್ ಸೊ ದ ದ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಅಪ್ವರ್ಡ್ಲಿ ಡೈರೆಕ್ಷನ್ ಪ್ಲಾನೆಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಯೂನಿವರ್ಸಸ್ ರಿಫರ್ಸ್ ಟು ದ ಡಿವಿನಿಟಿ ದ ಸೆವೆನ್ ಡೌನ್ ವರ್ಡ್ ರಿಫರ್ಸ್ ಟು ದ ಡಿಮಾನಿಕ್ ಆಕ್ಟಿವಿಟಿ so the, the so nijaruna prabhapura majjad brahmanda mandala uh, refers to um, the inner the inner dynamics where uh, one if if an individual is turned inward uh, he or she can tap the potential of this 14 planets if you turn outward there is only one planet that you can see and that also as far as the eyesight has a limitation that up to that far only one can see but if you turn inward you can travel across this 14 planets as a witness more in the witness more and you can tap the potential the wealth of this 14 um, locas or protein planets it's like 14 reservoir accessing accessing 14 reservoirs versus accessing one reservoir so this is a clearly an internal matter um, as always all the namas are um, but it has been again misinterpreted as an external mapping which is not the case so um, after the faculties are reset uh, the 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 contents are uh, emptied and uh, the balance of dharma and adharma is done dharma samsthapana is done and then four the division of the four is made based on the individual's strengths and uh, the conditionality is saturated through raga swarupa pasa ajya krodha karan kusojala and uh, the accelerated process of uh, uh, karma charana is done with uh, manoru peksha kodanu panchatan matra sahayaka and uh, the vasikana vidyas have been taught in uh, ragaswarupa pasaj krodha karank sojala when is so much is done um um so based on the power of intent of the individuals so here is the opportunity and the opportunity provided in nijaruna prabhava pura madhya brahmana mandala to either choose in the demonic activity that is the the planets that are in the downward direction or the um uh, or um, the divine activity or positive energy that are planets in the upward direction so uh, that's why the nijaruna prabhava pura madhya brahmana mandala refers to immersion and then floating in that immersion of the bright uh, immersing in the brightness of rising sun and then floating in that uh, rising sun so essentially all the chakras seven chakras are reset in this nama so that uh, it is again the choice of the individual to 
uh, make this check cross to rotate in clockwise or anti-clockwise direction. Clockwise refers to divine activity, anti-clockwise refers to demonic activity. So there are there is plenty of wealth available in either direction. It's only the choice of the individual that matters. Okay, so um, that is that is the uh, that's the meaning of explanation for Nijaruna Prabha Pura Madhya Brahmanda Mandala. So this uh, Nama gives imparts training to faculty of intellect. Nijaruna Prabha Pura Madhya Brahmanda Mandala. Okay, so the um, the remaining namas we will see in the next episode. Thank you.